When I was a little girl, every summer my mother would take me to the library um, almost every day, and um, we would we would go there, and I would always take out a very big stack of books and bring them home, and I would read them pretty much um, all in in one night. I mean, I wasn't you know I wasn't a voracious reader in this. I mean, these were children's books, right? Um, but we also I remember my local library had a contest. Um, and you had, you would write book reports, and I think that the prize was given to the child who writ who'd written the most book reports at the end of the summer. And I remember this was a terribly inspiring thing, and so I I, um, uh, I decided I was going to try for this prize, and I think I won it several summers in a row. And and you know I think that early experience to libraries really was you know. Um, was seminal. I, I have always wanted to be a librarian, so I think that probably started then. I, what, I, what I love about libraries is the browsability of libraries, you know, that you can walk into a place and there are all of these books on the shelf and you can wander up and down, you know, the stacks and it's almost like the books speak to you. It's like a title will, you know, will sort of fall off into your hands you know, almost begging to be read. And so I've always had this, this feeling that if I walk into a library, that the right books will, you know, will find their way into my hands. And um, I've, I've always approached libraries that way with a kind of an open sense of, of, um, of excitement because I, you, know, you don't know what's, you know what's going to materialize. School libraries are incredibly important. I think school libraries, when I, when I was in university, um, when I was in college, Smith College, I had a summer job um, putting little ID, uh, not ID, but I think they were security tapes into the spines of books. And I'm, when I think back on it now, I'm surprised that I actually managed to keep the job um, because it would take me hours to just cover even just a small stack of, you know, small shelf because, of course, every book needed to be opened and then as soon as you open a book, that's an invitation to, you know, to dive into the world. Um, so, in that sense, I mean, I, I, I lived in the library at school. I live on a very small island um, uh, in British Columbia and we actually have a library or we've had a library on the island which just recently closed so we're now in the process of trying to reopen it again um, apparently there are plans to do this but um, you know we're, we're uh, it, it's a bit of a struggle because it's, it's a very small place um, it's a it's a it's a wonderful library once again I just like to go there and browse really it's it's a browsing you know that that um, that's important to me I wrote my first book, My Year of Meats, um, at the Vancouver Public Library. It was, um, I was living in Vancouver at the time. They have a beautiful library there. And I would, you know, th that was back in 1997, in the days when you would actually have to go physically to, you know, a library in order to do research. And, um, and so that, the, the Vancouver Public Library was an enormously important place for me when I was writing that book. To my mind, librarians are, you know, the guardians of a certain kind of generous social vision that we're really in danger of losing right now. And, you know, when you think about it, think about, you know, a, a local, you know, politician now, um, you know, going up in front of, you know, the, the, the legislative body and proposing, you know, you know, that we use, you know, I've got a great idea. Let's use um, several million dollars of the taxpayer's money and let's um, use that and, and hire uh, an architect and build a magnificent building and we'll fill it with all the greatest books that have ever been read in, you know, ever been written in the history of man. And we will um, then give everybody who lives nearby a card and they can come and take, you know, take the books out and use it for free. I mean, that kind of thing simply wouldn't happen in this day and age. And so in that sense, you know, any, any erosion, any cuts, you know, to the budget that libraries have now, I think are really dangerous. It's a thin edge of the wedge. So I think it's really important that libraries be protected. Well, um, the latest project is a, is a novel uh, called A Tale for the Time Being. And um, it's, a, it's a story about a reader and a writer. Um, so I suppose you could call it a love story, because I think all stories about readers and writers are love stories. <laughs>